actually might buy this uh, figurine. I kind of want to. I'm making mine right now. <laughs> All right. So uh, last we left off, <clears throat> we had everyone chained up. Uh, the sun was setting, and the wargs had captured everybody. Uh, they were waiting on uh, someone to come and avouch for you guys to see if you guys are being truthful um, and to figure out how you're going to get out of killing half of their clan without repercussions. Did we do that? <laughs> um, I will add that during the length of the campaign, um, you've made alliances and enemies and vice versa um you might be able to call on some of them for the final battle versus strahd so just always be on the lookout for allies oh. okay it kind of sucks we chose the uh the lady that was allied to strahd and oh um, goodness like, <sighs> if you, these characters can be naked i didn't, didn't realize yeah, what's that the oh yeah definitely called? Hero, uh, Forge. Hero Forge. Don't think off their outfit by accident. <laughs> I forgot what is it. What by was accident. Default? Yeah, by yeah. accident. Nice one, dude. Hero I was Forge, trying to go figurines. to like none. By custom but I thought for a you were trying to make game. a nun naked. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sponsor me. <laughs> Sponsor me. Sponsor <laughs> me. It's like species. All right. Uh, you hear some uh, some talking at the front of the cave. Um, you think that it is who you think it is. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if y'all can see over there or not. No, I can't. Um, you're asking the wrong guy. Yeah. Uh, I also, Landis, I don't really see before much. Before you buy, you click, you can preview what it looks like to make sure it actually, like, get an idea of, um, what it looks like. Because it looks a little different than the actual preview, you know? I just oh, want to okay. that out there. Thank you. I can see warg. I can't. <clears throat> Guys, I see I see somebody. He's coming. I think they're gonna come. And oh wait, I saw I saw somebody else. Oh 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 shoot, 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 shoot. Quiet, quiet. Oh <sighs> Well hello there. What happened? The cowboy just got stuff, that's what happened. <laughs> On third down. Uh we, uh, well, Muriel, we fucked up again. <laughs> yeah, we I, did make I, a bit of a new mistake. This, this seems to be a, a common occurrence here. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <sighs> well, Not by choice. Well, luckily, I um, have been coming here for many, many years, and I have built a trust with the wargs, and you see you're kind of like whispering, getting like lower. And she was like, I was able to tell them that you were brainwashed by the werewolves. Exactly. From, from Strahd. So mm -hmm. take that as you will. Um, <clears throat> and you see I like, walk over and start um, unchaining uh, everyone except for Natalia. Um, it's so crazy. Did you guys notice that werewolves have that new spell that just completely brainwashes you? That was, <laughs> that's something. Um, that is crazy. She looks and she's like... We must make amends for the wargs that you have slain here. Um, you might be able to talk that over with <clears throat> Gimrock, but I'm sure he has some questions about Carl. And um, as like Carl. she says, Carl, <laughs> you see, oh. uh, you hear Grimrock kind of like approaching. He goes, ah. Yes, the <clears throat> Muriel has spoken up for y'all. I understand that Strahd is a powerful, powerful vampire, and he has the ability to brainwash, and that would make sense of why you would do such a thing. Now, I'm holding my head while he's talking, like, ah, God, my head hurts. No. <laughs> give me, give me a performance. <laughs> All right. Let's see it. Let's see how good this is. Hey, here we go. Oh, dude, that was so close to a one. <laughs> it almost oh. landed on a one. <laughs> um, he sees you and he's like, "Ah, take your time, son. I, I know the the pain of Strahd. I've been battling his kind for thousands of years." Muriel, what, 
what is the plan? What what can we do to stop Carl? I knew when these young adventurers came to the camp and they were with dire wolves. I knew something was dire. Strahd must have been involved. Only those wolves follow him. Hellhounds of the sorts. So please, if you could tell me what Carl is up to. And he kind of looks at y'all. He's like, I would be much appreciated. What is Carl up to? So we have found well. out through our inquiries that Carl has taken over the clan and possibly deposed the old leader of the werewolf clan, whose name is uh, Emil. Is that? Yes. Uh, Emil. Emil is missing. Where? Emil. Do yes. We know where he could be. No, but uh, Zu Zu Zuelkia has asked us to try and find him because apparently Carl is a very bad leader and it, uh, they want to get rid of him and bring Emil back. I'm sure. Yes. Also, bad Carl wants you dead. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't yet. already figured that I, out. Yeah. I figured that as much. Okay. Uh, we have been trying to protect ourselves here for hiding in the mountains. Oh, yeah. And apparently, Carl's been. Uh, he's been. Trying to expand the pack by going around and kidnapping people and a lot of children and uh, forcing them to turn into werewolves, ah. which is kind of, uh, you know, causing people to hunt them more. And I'm sure the humans are attacking you because of that as well. You see him kind of, he's like, <sighs> and he growls and he's like, <sighs> he's going to bring the humans down on our kind. He's like, we made a pact long ago not to interfere with the humans. Oh, it seems that he cannot keep that promise. I'm sure that is a, f a side effect of m merging with Strahd. Hmm. <sighs> he goes, um, Do we have any idea of why Natalia ever turned into a werewolf in the first place? Just to burn be happy one night, I think, right? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe Grimrock can, can help us. I think Strahd might have that done mystery. It. He's like, uh, I guess because the Strahd is a Strahd sounding thing. I'm, I'm sure it is of Strahd's doing of some sort. He goes, um, Strahd has given the werewolf no mind and could care less of their, their, uh, <clears throat> their clan, if you will. Um, <clears throat> he goes, Strahd has always been a concern for our kind, the wargs, and have learned of the phase <clears throat> through the phase have gone have been gone for centuries in the water fay and swamp fay their gems remain missing uh the water fay uh babala saga is still around but the the other two fay have disappeared from this this world as we know it us wargs are loyal to the fay we have been for over a thousand years the Fae called upon the warg in the woods, the mountains, and certainly the wargs fall under Strahd's command, and we we battled against him, but we follow him no longer, and we follow the, the Fae's like we always have. Perhaps Carl and his ambition to lead the werewolf clan could be the key of him trying and siding with Strahd. I'm sure Strahd promised to aid Carl's rise to power and return to the werewolf clan, promising him the command of some dire wolves in return. We just need to figure out why Strahd now has decided to turn his eye to the werewolves. Did you have any issues with Emil in the past? Emil? No. We've always... Emil was a kind wolf. He led the clan the right way. And he was kind to his people. Do you think the werewolves would follow Strahd if Emil was in charge? Or do you think they're only following because of Carl? Hmm. I feel they're only following due to Carl and his ambitions with Lars. They seem to take over the pact when Emil went missing, it looks like. I do not believe the other werewolves would do such a thing. And now that I know they are hunting and killing children, I'm I'm almost positive there are some wolves that 
despise this act. I'm gonna note that down real quick. As for you, little one, your curse could be an effect from Strahd or someone else's doing. We just do not know. We Probably know, Strahd. We know is you there are. a way to know how? Unfortunately, there is not. Only the one who cast the curse would be able to tell you. We just know that you have the curse. We may okay. be able to do the taming ritual tonight, but as us wargs, we were the one who taught the werewolves the taming ritual. But I'm sure, as you already know, there must be a sacrifice made. And depending yes. on the sacrifice, you must do this alone. And depending on what kind of sacrifices, it may affect your transformation. It is not always guaranteed that you will succeed in this. So we must find the creature that you may be able to hunt on your own and defeat by yourself. Okay. And we may be able to drink the blood and perform the ritual. Wait, are we not allowed to help with capturing the creature? She has to do everything by herself? You may capture the creature, but she oh. must defeat it in battle herself. Gotcha. Hmm. And I still don't have... That's why I don't have my damn spell slots. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, he goes, there are different types of beasts that you may kill. Small animals, domesticated animals, wild beasts. And we do not speak of the last. So yeah, we don't either. <laughs> For sure, right, guys? Yeah, yes. in agreement with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we must figure out what Carl is up to and how to stop him and hopefully lead their clan back to the right way. Would you be willing to have some of the wargs help us try to track down Emil? That may be a possibility, yes. We just need to figure out where he might be. Gotcha. I do not know if some of the other werewolves back at the camp might know where he have last been seen or gone. That might aid you. We still have the element of surprise. Carl does not know you were captured. He still thinks you are in the battle. And we may use that to our advantage. Or we may be able to sneak in at the cover of night or early morning and surprise Carl, capture him, drag him away without being caught. But that would be extremely, extremely difficult. They're always on guard. Mm. But like I said, you may be able to enter the camp freely, not knowing, Carl not knowing that you are talking with me now. This is true. It, it also last... seemed like their clan wasn't very stable to begin with. That would be Carl for you. He is a very hasty man and looks for power in the easy type of ways. Hence going to Strahd in the first place, the coward. He did want us to return with a certain item. Let me but guess. I don't know. My head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Figures as much. That is one item he will not be getting. So, if we, return... if we go back, we could act like we, um, or, you know, I'm sure he wouldn't expect four people to charge into a war camp and just one shot it. Maybe we could, uh, you know, because we are pretty bruised and battered right now. Say that we went in and we fought, took down some, but had to retreat to heal our wounds and rest before heading back. Maybe. That is, mm -hmm. a, that is a possibility. I do not know how Carl acts to retreating oh. from battle. True. Actually, he's not very fond of it, I don't think. <laughs> uh, never mind. Scratch that one. Let's kick him in the nuts. 
Ooh, that also might not <laughs> might not go so great. Hmm. Let me think. I guess is there other option to we go to see if we can try some and kind of fake head. <laughs> You think a werewolf wouldn't be able to tell a fake dead thing? Let me check. Let me reread my prestidigitation. Oh, that's good. Ah, Let's see. Okay. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we could take a skull and you could prestidigitize it yeah, or something? Yeah, uh, nah, I don't think it'll. Uh, because, well, like, uh, be, if you, what if you put, like, warg blood on a skull and then you made it look like a warg head? See, oh, no, his head he... fit in my hand. He would want it. He would probably want to hold it though. And once he tries to touch it, that would fall through. I think. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Or, mm. Does anyone here know magic? I do. I do have a mask. I do. Hmm. I have a werewolf mask. Just saying, if that could help in magic in any way, in creating some kind of fake head. Do we have some type of illusion spell we can cast on someone? Uh. Ooh. I don't know. I need my spell book back. Uh, da, da, da. I keep on forgetting <laughs> to add that. <laughs> I know. I keep bothering you every time. Let's see. Um, I can make a female version of you. What? With the amulet well, of seduction. We could seduce him. Yeah. yeah. I can make a sexy female version. <laughs> Let me let me ask you this: Does uh, Carl, Coral does Coral know what what you actually look like? <sighs> Coral, we met long ago. I'm sure he okay. remembers my scent. Okay. Just oh, sure. scent. Mm. So what? You want to like piss on a thing? It's like get your yeah. scent on it. Does that mean he'll smell you on us when we go over there? I'm sure he will. Yes. Oh. But I guess it wouldn't be totally out of the blue because we were supposed to be fighting you to begin with. Yes, this is correct. Okay. Maybe we could have one person go back. Or like more or like have not everyone go back and try to like trick him into thinking like we got you on the ropes or whatever. And then like trick him into like a trap where we'd capture him. Bring him to us, yes. Oh, yeah, like have uh, have somebody who's really good at convincing people um, go back and tell them that we have, like, we wiped out most of them and have you cornered in a cave. <laughs> and yeah, then try and get yeah. him to come out and, and have, like, a final battle with them or something. Yeah. Guy who's really good at convincing people. That could work. As I look around at everybody with wide open eyes, <laughs> like... Follow if we could find somebody. <laughs> Performance check? <laughs> or like uh I guess I guess that's up to Grimrock. That is a possibility, yes. Says, this is your battle. You must make amends for what you have caused here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not gonna make it easy on us. Alright, that's fair. Well What do you guys think? So should we just go back, empty-handed? Uh, remember the last uh, time? I think something that would bad is going to happen if we do. But the last time yeah. we went retreated from that one battle to the werewolf camp, um, one of the werewolves that was with us just got fucking got killed, killed, like cut down immediately. Yeah. When Carl found out that we it all was retreated. me, actually, technically, Hayes. Oh yeah, technically it was you. Yes. Yeah, Hayes got fucked. Hmm. So True. maybe I missed it, but why are we going back to that camp in the first place? Well, the, we have what we have to do. Actually, so I guess Grimrock, what what is uh, is there anything else that we could do to make amends to you? Hmm. That that is a tough question. I right now our only problem is Carl, and we must find a meal to restore his power back to the clan. He goes, us wargs, our motto is live and let live. We will forgive you for the battle. The anti Beatles. But mm -hmm. an amends must be made. So basically, so, we need uh, to bring. We need to get rid of Carl. Is uh, kind of. It's where almost like Carl is the grim rock of like the opposite side. And if we had picked this side originally, then the fight would have been, "Hey, go get 
Carl's Carl. head and not yeah. Grimrock's head. So yeah. we're kind of just like doing everything yeah. the second time. Yeah, that's, that's inaccurate. Accurate, yeah, so we're a little bit more um, yeah. in the hole here. Yeah. yeah. You know, physically okay. also since we're in a cave. But So instead of, uh, I guess, one, hurt. one thing that could really help us take over is if we, well, I don't know how we do this, because uh, I, don't, I don't know if anybody has any extra context clues written down, but finding Emil. Because uh, if we return back to the camp with Emil, oh. I'm sure that we could rally um, some of the werewolves that are there against Carl, and then we could, you know, Deal with it yeah. that way. Let's. So, uh, what's his name? Gimrock. Would it? Would we? Like, if we bring Emil back to you, would you give us your backing to go then talk to the other werewolves? Possibly. Like, could we get like gang up and go be like, "Hey, this is your true leader," kind of thing. Yes, that would be a possibility. Yes. Um. The only problem is we do not know where Carl, or I'm sorry, Emil is. I believe the only people that can help us would be the werewolf clan themselves. Mm, that's might, very true. They are the only ones that probably know where he went last. Could, mm. hey, hey, we could also we could also have Miss Natalia look very damaged maybe with the prestidigitation and then head back and be like hey i'm the only one that survived i still need your help and then like try to Wait, why are you sending me to no, die she's gonna kill her probably <laughs> yeah well, like why wait, how um, do you volunteer yourself i'm gonna you're, cast... you're also gonna turn into a werewolf that's why i don't know if he would do that yeah he literally killed one of the wolves that we were playing when we came back oh, last wait. time from losing the battle no, 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 no. My my werewolf extension died last time you died. <laughs> I'm going to cast level 2 cure wounds on myself and say, alright, I see where this is going. Let's go fuck shit up. <laughs> and um, myself another, idea, another idea would be um, because we do have like magic users uh, would be to say that during the fight um, his, like, you know, he was basically like incinerated, so there was nothing that we could bring back. But that would require, I'm guessing, a little bit of persuasion um, to get him, or per, you know, get him to basically uh, believe the lie that we annihilated his body so bad we had nothing to bring back. Maybe we can bring him back a an arm. He'll, he'll believe it because that's what's going to happen to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's yeah. Uh, well, I, I mean that that's cool with me. I mean when we get there, we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, uh, it'd, be, it'd be better probably not to bring anything back and say the whole body was disintegrated because then you know there's no way he can like. Murphy, I sent you a message on Discord. Do yeah, some weird cool. shit with that info. Oh, yeah, quite, we, yeah. We obviously don't have any kind of way of creating some kind of fake head or anything, so might as well just drop that and just yeah. Just, just uh, say Natalia was so fucking sick with it that she annihilated and turned up to dust. Burned his ass out. That we didn't have any way to, yeah. My fucking firebolt, just too good, man. Just mm -hmm. too, because I, I mean, I, to be fair, we have seen it happen before. True. This is true. I have, I have definitely seen some bodies be reduced to uh, ash in front of us. I have this an Integration idea. has been a staple from the beginning of our D and D. Can we bring? We can bring back like. Oh no, we probably shouldn't bring back any like random ashes either, just in case he could like sense that it's not. The it's ashes. Smell. Yeah, he'll he'll smell. He'll. We should all rub rub on Grim Rock to get his smell all over us. <laughs> yeah, that no, way. Sure. Well, with that consent, way he'll... of course. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Um, obviously. All, all y'all like Grim Rock comes close and everyone like starts moving and then Natalia tries to move and she just remembers she's chained still. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Oh, are we allowed to bring her back with us to the werewolf camp, Grimrock? Or are you we're gonna keep her here? I may be able to keep her here, and we can discuss the the ritual. We may be able to perform it tonight while you are gone. Damn. Maybe oh well, do we? Um, you uh, you said the sun was setting. Yes, the sun is going down. So would we want to try and help Natalia get uh, her ritual going, and then once the ritual is done? Try and go back to the camp, or yeah, how do you guys want to idea. do that? That's a good idea. So we don't have to leave Natalia behind going back to the camp. That and we get a I long rest. I have an idea. Like. Okay, what's up? This might be stupid, but 
Is there a way that we could plan an ambush? Like if we brought some wargs with us, but they were far enough away to where the wolves wouldn't smell them. And then we go in there, you know, being like, oh yeah, you know, we, we kill them, all that stuff. But then um, we just start basically attacking them from the inside and then the wargs come and join us and like de- basically destroy their clan. That was that was um, exactly what I was thinking, but I think at our current position, that's the whole Emil part, where they're not going to help us until we kind of make amends for our, our little... Uh, uh, yeah, oops, you okay, might call that's it. true. That's, that's literally exactly what I was thinking, too, was get the wargs to come help us fuck them up. Well, we're sorry to the wargs. <laughs> we really are. Yeah, he like bows his head. Was it, am I correct in in that uh, line of thinking there, Grimrock? Yes, you are correct. We would be glad to help, but due to our current situation, we must heal our wounds. Okay. How many wargs are left? Right now, we have about five wargs, including myself. Oh, <coughs> do we remember how many werewolves <laughs> were in the camp? <laughs> I don't know if we ever had a count. Honestly, I don't know if we know. I mean, yeah. at the very least, five or six, if we're counting the ones we all talk to. Yeah, that's why I think um, if we come back with Emil and the wargs, like the wargs set it back like Natalia's thinking with the ambush, but we go into the camp with Emil, or we, you know, we're able to bring Emil into the camp at the same time, then he might be able to convince some of the other werewolves in the camp to help fight against Carl. And then we have the wargs come in as well, because you know, we have a whole crew at that point. If we can find a meal, but I thought I guess we have to go into the camp and go talk, try and talk to people to um, get some info because I, I don't have any notes about all I have is that Carl may have something to do with Emil's disappearance, but I don't have anything else beyond that. Yeah, hold on, let me see. If anybody has any like notes, like maybe a location that he might have disappeared or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I just have need to find a meal, maybe an old pack leader. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that she gave us a location for my remembering, because I'm looking back on my notes, and I don't think that she said she wasn't really sure. But I could mm. have just not jotted it down. Does anybody have any... Or maybe we could get, to, like... Uh, I guess, Natalia, you could look at the werewolf stuff. Do werewolves have any, like, tracking proficiencies? Um, let me see. They have a heightened sense of smell, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, I, I mean, just if, have like more smell and like more strength, you, but honestly, you have heightened senses. Yeah, and then I just you know that's pretty much it. I mean, I have like, yeah, that's pretty much it. Because I was thinking maybe Zulika might be able to help us because she's an actual werewolf. Because well, obviously we're you know Natalia's not gonna be a werewolf here soon, but get maybe get a werewolf to come with us to try and help track him down or something. You have tracking and Does my Okay. Does my heightened senses are they all around, like all the time, or is it only when I'm As of right now, uh it's going to be only in a werewolf form because you haven't mastered it yet. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So that just we should just do the ritual then. Yeah, start with the ritual, and then we try and go back to the werewolf camp and bullshit our way back in, and then try and find some wolves. Maybe Zulika knows some other wolves who might be willing to come with us to try and track down where Emil is or something. Right. So the and other thing I'm, well, so the other thing I'm thinking of is that, like, if she does the ritual successfully here, will they be able to tell anything is uh, different? <laughs> Right? Yeah. Like, what if we come Probably. back and they're like, hey, how, how, how come you can control this now? Like, what happened out there, right? Like, that's kind of scary. What, um, what does the ritual do again? Does it make you able to control it or control it makes it so it. you're. Uh... But, oh. I mean, I don't know if they can tell or sense it. That's all I'm saying, you know? Because mm-hmm. they are werewolves. I, I just don't know the deal. That's a good question. Il Delio. I gotta get my dice out. Oh god. They're is that something not a werewolves? Is that something that <laughs> any of my scholarly not oh god. Is that something <laughs> that my scholarly knowledge I would have read about? Um roll for it. Roll uh oh, is it history or history maybe? Um uh, I guess history, yeah, right? Yeah, roll um, history. Uh, okay. Or nature. Or yeah, roll nature. No, his history. <laughs> Fucking god damn it, man. Sorry. <laughs> history, history doesn't make sense. <laughs> 
Oh my god. It's not even a good roll. Um, yeah, you, you see, nature would have been better. Nature's a plus one. <laughs> it's not better. Here, I'll roll in nature to see if I know anything. What'd you roll? 17. 17. Um, yeah. You recall that when a werewolf transforms, um, they can sense lycanthropy and other beings but you are unaware of them being able to tell if they can control it or not yes i do can remember we ask, reading that uh, in a book yeah. in your travels as a book yeah can yeah, we ask grimrock if he has any knowledge if um if they're able if you know in this subject about transformations um he looks at you and he's like i just did you know he's just your time and you know he goes, I have already discussed too much of the old oh. ways with oh. non-beings. Maybe so, so sorry. I might be able to speak with young blood about this. This is an oh. intimate and oh, sorry. most guarded secret. I didn't mean to pry. I'll let, Natalia, I'll let you and Natalia chat about that when you're doing the ritual then. <clears throat> well, the other thing that I was thinking is, you know how Carl's clan is seriously very... Vulnerable. I feel like a lot of their clan members are easily persuaded against it. I I believe you are right, young one. I believe there are some who despise Carl in power. His mate, Bianca. I do not know which way she goes, but I do know this. She is the strongest werewolf out of all of them. The first... I mean, the first sorry. werewolf to turn way back the very first werewolf to turn was said to be a woman and that's why they worshipped the night mother I mean I was kind of eavesdropping on a conversation and she didn't seem to be too fond of Carl to be real with you Hmm. Hmm. and uh I wonder I wonder if we could persuade them to like, join our side to overcome their clan. That may be a possibility. Bad idea. Mm. But first, it is getting late. What shall we do about the ritual? So we need I need to go find my beast. What time is it? Um, I'm gonna say it's probably six. The sun sets around like eight, eight thirty. But we just need to have need something to before, like before the, is... the sun goes down. Oh, hmm. Well, uh, I guess what are we looking for? What do you guys want to try and find? The beast, like a her. beast. The beast is like the most effective. Well, it gives me the best odds at, mm-hmm. you know. And it's so, we ha- she she just has to defeat it on her own? Does she have to defeat it in front of you? Not in front of me, no, but the Night Mother will know if she had help had killing it. it. Oh, okay, never mind. Say yeah, no, I need to do something. this on my own, but we just need to go find one. Can I... Um, I could help. I can talk with animals, so I could go up and be like, Yo! No. <laughs> Get the oh, fuck yeah. out! Get the kid over here, you bitches! <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to fuck you up, <laughs> or like you know something, something along those lines, or maybe just like a sweet song, you know, serenade them into coming, like hey, or like even free food. Hey guys, free buffet over here. Well, do we know what's kind of like? His beast is pretty, um, pretty vague, I guess. So like, what, what does that mean? That bears, for? bears get him free buffet. Hello. <laughs> What okay. do you want to fight? Yeah, honestly, not a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you want to fight? I I could I can serve it up for you. Uh. So, so, you, so what do you what do you recommend the best gr- Gimrock? Um. Hmm. Domesticated polar bear. animals are still somewhat tough, but beasts such as dire wolves or owl bears. Or even the werewolf. I... So what if... Why don't I just go... Why don't we just go freaking kill the werewolves and I'll bring one back and that's my ritual. Bam. Ooh. 
If um, you can I like them that. Back and bring them back fast enough, then yes. Uh, yeah, I, I don't mean, think, think we're gonna to kill real quick. I don't think we're gonna kill a werewolf camp in two hours when we're all uh, not feeling so hot. Yeah, probably right. See, so guess it might. I think it might take us a, a bit of time to get there. He goes there. Possibly is a a camp not too far from here of maybe owl bears. Um, owl what bear? direction? Uh, that is for you to find. It is your hunt, young one. Smell, okay. smell there. I'm telling you. I I thought I couldn't do that unless I'm a werewolf. Oh. Mm. Well, I mean, you can still use your own nose. Damn. I just want to ask. <laughs> yeah, but it's not going to be as strong. I mean, hey, it doesn't, uh, doesn't hurt to try. Got to try. <laughs> no, uh, all right. Yeah, let's find them owl bears. Let's I do it. Uh, do, I have, um, do I have any knowledge? Can I check to see if I know what an owl bear is? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and roll uh, history. Whatever could an owl bear Fuck be? Fuck me! I'm trying to like I'm trying to get information about what we're about to fight. Like, is it really big? Is it like because the telly has to one v one this thing? Do you remember um, what an owl looks like, and you know what a bear looks like? <laughs> like a brown bear, a black bear, a grizzly bear, a polar bear. A bear. Because we've had bears in the in Palmore Road before. You know what I mean? Do they tell me? Do they look? Do they look vastly different than bears? Uh, they are of similar. Similar size. It's a large monster, I will say. All right. Uh, let me see. Shit, I'm gonna get fucked. Uh, I mean, I was then what happens small, if I die? I just so, fail the yeah. ritual. Well, I mean, and I can't, can't be I can't be healed, right? No, you get no help unless you do the healing now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I, the... we probably should we probably should do the healing now because I'm not at full health currently. You need, you need a little top off? Yeah, rock, paper, scissors. Wow. Okay, thanks for wanting <laughs> to help. Eric's like, rock, mm -hmm. paper, scissors? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. I touch wow. her, and I uh, I will go ahead and touch her. That's fine. I'll touch With you. consent, Thank of you. course. With yeah. consent. <laughs> it's funny, because, like, I feel like I get healed more from others than Goron. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Goron usually has to save it for himself because I don't like being hurt. Oh, because you're selfish. Well, <laughs> no, no comment on that. Damn. <laughs> the gods you, have Goran. deemed me you. the one to survive this mission, so, you know, gotta obey the gods. Okay. Thank you for that. All right. I'm guessing that's all the guess healing we're going to be able to do. Yeah. You may prepare right. that, to it anyway. You do you need more healing? Situated. Can I use my? No, I'm good. Can yeah, I use cool. more? Uh... Yeah, everybody's good, guys. Can I use my healing potions? You may use whatever you have in your battle, but no one else may aid you. Okay. It's cool. Okay. Then yeah. Okay. I think I'm ready. I'm feeling half good to go, guys. Let's run on out there and fight some <laughs> owlbears. Well, you're not going to be fighting, so... If she goes down, we're going to be fighting. And we're I'm running gonna, towards okay. a I'm camp of owlbears. It's okay. I'm going to put my hand right on Sazed and cast Heroism just... and Thank whisper, you. suck it up. Uh, <laughs> also, I'm going to cast that on him as well. Thank also, I, so this is something I completely forgot. So I, uh, before we go, I need to do this to myself because it says I get when I cast a spell of first level or higher that restores HP to a creature other than you, you regain HP equal to two plus the spell's level. So I just gained six health because I cast two level one spells, right? Yeah. Because it's oh. two plus one and two plus one. Yep. Dude, I gotta remember that. That that would that literally would have helped me so many fucking times. That's pretty in this big campaign. I've had it since the beginning. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Damn. No, actually, just kidding. I just got it in the sixth level. That's why I didn't know. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So it's not that really that bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I thought I was just a dumbass all the time. Hmm. <laughs> well, I didn't say that, but. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see, Natalia. Go ahead. I guess you are leaving the cave now. Already, oh, yeah. I'm still chained up. 
Oh. Yeah, they, uh, they uh, unchain you. Muriel, <laughs> Muriel walks over and unchains you. Thank you. Yeah, Tyler, I messaged you. Oh, you did? <clears throat> um, go ahead. <clears throat> so, you're going to be on the hunt for an owlbear or a beast of that kind. <clears throat> so, go ahead and roll a nature check. Cool. So you are you pick up a scent. Your your powers are like starting to come to you, but you just can't like hone them yet. But you pick up a scent of like um, something that's not one of the wargs from around here. So you just start on that. <clears throat> um, you you'll all go farther into the mountains. Um, the snow starts coming down harder. Um, the snow gets thicker. <clears throat> um, go ahead now and roll. A nature check. Another. Another one. Another one. Oh, sorry. Um, this one. Oh, wait. Did I do the wrong one? No, you did nature. Okay. Um, this one, you come over the hill of like this this little crest in the mountains, and the snow picks up so heavy that you lose the scent, and you're trying to find like any type of footprint around. Or anything, but you you get lost in the uh, the snow and you just start to wander with the party. Now, go ahead and roll a survival check to see if the the blizzard has any effect on you and the the party. <clears throat> okay, so you notice that um, you come across the hill, the blizzard's coming down, and you have the idea of heading to the rock face in front of you to try and seek shelter. Um, from the blizzard as the wind is blowing into your face and your your idea is to get up on the mountain so you can have the wind off of you guys as you you continue your uh your hunt um about 40 minutes has passed um when you get to the rock let's see roll 20 when you get to the rock you notice that um you find some like hair some white hair um stuck in the the rock side as if like some beast was scratching its back on the mountainside um i'll let you decide what you want to do from there okay so i would like to do a perception to see if i can notice anything else about what direction it might be in any footprints i know it's blizzarding pretty hard but right. it's yeah, been here ahead. recently Um, the only thing that you notice is that the hair um, on the rock seems to be blowing in the wind, um, kind of northwest. Um, so you have two two ways to go. You can either go northwest or um, northeast, as like the mountain kind of like splits that way. Um, so go ahead and tell me which okay. way you want to go. Can I roll another nature to see if I can smell anything at this point? Go for it. Since I've gotten a little better grips on where we're at. Oh my god, it's raining so hard. Um, you pick up the hair and you like smell it trying to get another whiff, but you really can't pick up anything. Okay, then we're going to go northwest. Northwest. Um, as you're traveling northwest, um, the blizzard starts to calm down. <clears throat> um you noticed um you're starting to notice it lighten up the ground is uh not as dense with snow um go ahead and roll another survival or no sorry nature okay Bad four. five nine um you look around trying to find some footprints or some hair or anything and you pick up a slight whiff of something for a split second um, from the breeze blowing down. Um, you're not exactly sure what it is. Okay, I'm going to do another perception to All see right. if I can see any footprints since it's let up on the blizzard. Alright. 20. Um, you are looking around. Um, you get that slight whiff and you turn your head quickly to 
where you got the, the scent from. And as you do, you see down the hill a little ways, your eyes kind of flare up. Um, the rest of the party sees that your your eyes like turn golden and it looks like a, a wolf eye. And you see down in the distance in the, um, <clears throat> in the, down, it's like down in a, a valley, you see um, some blood and some footprints of what looks to be of a bear. Okay, um, so I can physically see the bear? Uh, you can physically see the footprints and some blood. Okay, so I'm going to follow along the trail, but I'm not just going to go like barging through. I'm going to be treading carefully to make sure that I'm not, you know, just being an idiot. Uh-huh. All right, so I'm going to put you guys up here. Blood for the blood guy, blood for the blood guy. <clears throat> um, tell me when y'all load in, if y'all do. Uh, we are loaded in. in. There's some creepy looking dude down the road, though. Oh. Oh. Yeah, what the heck is that? Is that an owlbear? <laughs> you see, um, coming down the hill, you see, like, the corpse of a, of a, looks like a, a traveler of some kind. Um, and, like, blood leading off kind of, uh, this direction. Okay. So I'm gonna... Just kind of walk carefully through the blizzard. Oh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And I'm going to actually do an investigation check on this to see if this is like a fresh corpse. Okay, go ahead. Um, you notice that it's um, pretty gnawed up pretty good. Um, the body's cold, but the blood is still liquid. It's not frozen. Okay, so this has been somewhat recent in the last few hours. Okay. All right. Um, I can kind of see him from here. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I want to sneak up on him. All right, go ahead and roll sneak. Or stealth. Sneak. Why is it not coming through? There we go. 13. Uh, da, 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 da. What is... What is... I think it's... Dexter, wait a minute. Wisdom. Alright, you're going to be rolling against the beast. And you fail. Um, as you start to like approach the bear... <clears throat> you hear like his nose pick up and he gets a scent and he looks back at the body and he lets out a roar he's like Rrr! and he starts charging towards you and we'll stop there and we'll Fuck. okay because my plan was i was gonna sneak to like where this rock was but i didn't want to sneak any further okay so he heard me Fuck. okay you pokemon uh, battle music <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're up first. All right, so I'm going to go. And you guys uh, can we watch. I was going to say, can you we reposition so I can. Uh, can I. Because I, I can't 20, see. 25, 30. And I'm going to cast my. Because I don't have shit for spells. <laughs> I'm going to cast Firebolt on him. Oh, I see him. Okay. Wait. Um, as you cast a fireball, you get like the bear kind of frightened you as it as it uh, yelled or <clears throat> roared at you and it kind of took off towards you and um, it, it affected your your aim a little bit and you hit the the wall behind him. Fuck. What is his movement? I can't ask that. <laughs> What that the hell? Is his movement. <clears throat> That's a lot. <sighs> he is just out of range. Right. Is it's my roll. turn now? It is your turn. I want to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then 
I'm going to cast, let's try this again, Firebolt. Mm -hmm. Nice, 12. For 12 damage. Um, you see the fire. And then I'm gonna like howl. <laughs> <laughs> you see the fireball leap out of your hands as like it hits him in the shoulder and like it scorches his skin and like, you see his skin turn black, and he roars again and starts um, <clears throat> sprinting towards you. Um, he gets up beside you and tries to claw you. Um, as he does, his uh, bear claw comes down on you. And slices you across the shoulder, down your your chest, for thirteen damage. Okay. So. Okay. All right, and that's, and that's my turn now, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to use my first level magic missile spell. All right. And of course, I got the lowest roll. Boom. So that's, I think, Oops. Uh, six damage, right? Uh, yes, because it's three, right? Yeah, three. Yep. Um, what is your first hit for? Twelve. Can I do any type of perception to see like how he's doing? Like if he's bloody, if he's like looking like he's injured. Uh, da, da, da. Let me see here. You um, hit him with this spell, and <clears throat> you see um, the bolts enter under his fur, and like you see some blood coming down his fur, but you can't see the damage done to the skin. Okay. And you hit him for six, right? Yeah. The second time. Alright. Um, you see him kind of like stumble back and then lunge at you. Um, he tries to bite you. Um, he jumps back, and as he launches in the air, um, you see the snow beneath his feet kind of kick up. Um, one of the, the paws leaves a zero, and the other one has a two behind it. And he Damn, son. jumps on you and bites you in the arm <clears throat> for 14 points of damage. Alrighty. Does drinking a um It's a bonus action. Okay, it's a bonus action. And each one would count as one bonus action? Yes. Have two. You have two, so you can use one as an action and then one as a bonus action. Yeah, but I also want to attack him. Yeah, you don't get to attack. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of my potions of healing. I forget what I have to roll for that though. Two uh, D Four plus two mm -hmm. hit points. So I just roll two and then plus two hit points. Seven. What wow, percent? And he's right up on me too, right? So yeah, like right up on you. So if I backed up, I would take attack of opportunity. Mm. All right. Um. And then I'm going to... Fuck, this really sucks not having any spell slots. I'm just going <laughs> to do Firebolt. And that's not going to fucking hit. Uh, that hits. Four damn damage. For four. 
<clears throat> um, you see the the spells start to take effect underneath like this the fur, and some of the fur is starting to fall off, and you see kind of like gouges in his uh his skin. Um, Is using a dagger a bonus action? No, an that's an attack. Okay. Um, you see the bear kind of take a step back and do another claw attack. Um, this time hitting you for six damage. Um, as he hits you, you, you feel like the skin rip and you feel this like, <clears throat> um, un this urge to survive, um, your blood begins to boil. <clears throat> um, you feel like the hair on your skin, like start to grow as like your need to live and, and persevere, like overcomes your spirit. And it is your turn. Alrighty, so I'm going to use my bonus action really quickly to drink my last potion of healing. Alright, so heal for eight. Wait, I can't math. Is that 14? Uh, <laughs> I can do it. I think it is. Yeah, it works. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, and then, so I don't technically have my, like, wolf powers yet. Like, I couldn't, like, fight him. Or... Um, no, not yet. You don't have, like, teeth yet. But you okay. do have increased strength. And you might, this, this feeling that's overcoming you gives you a, a surge of energy that possibly could give you an extra attack. Okay, well, fuck it. I'm going to do my first ever melee attack in the game. Because I'm getting mad and I'm getting angry and furious that I'm so... I'm going to try to Are strike him. him up. <laughs> fuck him up. I'm a, I'm a yo. Like I'm gonna try to claw him <laughs> preemptively, but it's not wolf claws. It's my claws. <laughs> Go for it. Oh wow! Fourteen. Okay. Fourteen hits. Um, you feel the urge of another attack as well. Okay, so I can do another one. Can I like do another melee? I wonder. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I'm going to roll for a hit for another melee. That'll do it. Alright, so they both hit. Okay. So here is the first one. Did it work? It did. Five. Um, go ahead and roll your vicious dagger. Because um, mm -hmm. unarmed strike is always the highest you can get is five. And seven. Wait, 14. Piercing. Did you roll crit? Uh, oh, no. So you, you got seven damage. You got seven. So roll again. I just did a flat roll. Yeah, just go ahead and flat roll again. It's saying, it's saying if you uh, rolled a 20 that you would get another seven. Seven and eight is what? 15. 15. Um... As you, like, rear back to attack, he's, like, biting you as you do it. You feel that urge of power be uh, come over you. And <clears throat> instinctively, you take your dagger out. And you feel, like, your hands, like, you, you're you imagining your claws. <clears throat> and as you swipe, you swipe with your dagger. And you slice his neck. And there's a gaping wound and blood just pours over you. And as you swipe your next attack... You swipe his gut, and some of his like intestines begin to fall out. Um, he takes a step off of you, 
and he goes for one final claw attack. It all comes down to this. Um, as he tries to hit you, he stops himself to catch his stomach as he stands towering over you. Um, he's got to be at least eight feet tall, standing on his hind legs, and you see him kind of just like holding his guts as he looks at you. And it is your turn. All right, so I'm going to. Let me see. Hold on once. All right, I'm gonna tr- cast Firebolt on him. All right. That was so close to a nat twenty. That hits. For seven damage. Seven damage. What happens? So, I throw my I like basically look like I'm building a fire orb in my hands and I get so angry that I was so damaged by him that I basically step into it and throw the fireball at him and it explodes where his guts were falling out and he just like splatters everywhere. He splatters over and his guts just spill out all charred and blackened. Um, You use the fire, it lights his fur and you can feel the warmth and the relief come over your body as it falls down dead. You don't have to so bring close. it back? <clears throat> um, you need its blood. So? As it dies, he says, Go, uh, eagles! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use one of my empty health potion vials. There you go. Mm. And I'm going to collect. I'm I'm going to be safe and just fill both of the vials that I have okay, with yeah. the blood. Perfect. Just in case just, I need more. Good choice. Just and, to have um, it. Yeah, just to have it. You know, as a souvenir. Yeah, you know, a necklace just, or something. Just in case you need it. Yeah. You never know. And I'm going to have that in my inventory. Um, All right. Um, I'm going to say an hour has passed now. Hour and fifteen minutes. You've got. So it's like seven fifteen. Yeah, you got forty five minutes to get back. Okay. All right, guys, let's run. We don't have much time. Let's fucking hustle. Let's hustle. Um, y'all go down the winding road. Y'all re-enter the 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 blizzard part. Um. Go ahead and roll a survival check, everyone. Everyone. Um, where is survival? Everyone needs to beat a 12. All right, RIP. Wait, so if I get a 12, <laughs> am I Oof. okay? Um, so now this is up to you. So you get to the blizzard part. You and Aluan are, are hiking through pretty quickly. But Goron and Sazed seem to be having some trouble making it through the uh, thick snow and blizzard. Um... Goran is covering his eyes and like he has to hide his uh, arm eyes due to like the snow hitting it. Um, he loses a lot of vision and Goron is not used to traveling in such light armor that is it, it's, a, it's affecting his uh, um, <clears throat> his heat. He's uh, got so much fur on that uh, it's it's overheating him almost to the point where, he wants to take it off, but he knows he'll he'll die of hypothermia if he does. Um, so now it's up to you guys of what you want to do. Um, but in times of the essence, so do we do the noble thing and just tell them to go on ahead without us, and we'll make our way back? No. Uh, I mean. I'm gonna run back. Because I'm feeling extra strength and adrenaline from the attack that I just did. Also, really quick question. Why am I on 32 health? Uh, that's a good question. I should be on... I think I was on 12, 12. right? No, you were on 14. Thir- 14. 14, okay. There you go. Okay, okay. I don't know how that happens. Because um, mm-hmm. I'm still feeling a ton of adrenaline. I'm going to run back. And tell Goron to, to jump on my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, Can I do like a... Go ahead and roll a strength check. Yeah, roll a strength check. You do have 18. Uh, where is it? Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, yeah, you uh you hoist him on your back. He's like almost kneeling on your shoulders almost um as you're 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 trucking him through the snow. Um it's uh just Sazed now that's hanging back. Um and a Luan can move freely. I don't know if I can I don't know if I can carry both of them. Maybe. Uh your your back is full cool with Goron. So okay, I yeah, can so also I could I could let you stand on my shield and see if Mr. Devin can pull you along with a rope, like a sled. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kneel down in front of Sage. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put my hand up to him. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many eyes, I can't see what's going on. Oh my god, hold on. Oh shit. Oh god, no. Um, oh, this man. is my end in the snow. Uh, can I find some object to. Because one of the so one of the cast prodigitation or pre, yeah you know what I'm saying uh, one of the things is I can uh, warm one up to one cubic feet of non-living material for one hour. So could I like warm something up enough to like that he could like hug it to himself so it would like heat him up? Yeah, you can. Uh, you can, do it, his, you can do it on his uh, his clothes. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hands on his clothes, and I'm gonna say abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> abracadabra, you know Kodomo. <laughs> yeah, say did you feel the uh the, the warmth from uh the the um the the spell cast on your clothes, and you kind of look at him, and you're like, I, I I'm resistant to cold. I, I wasn't even cold, guys. I just can't. See. <laughs> I can't see. God <laughs> damn it! I'm from the mountains. <laughs> Help. Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout out gibberish because I'm freaking out and I'm too hot. <laughs> All right, well I'm gonna take out one of my ropes. I'm gonna say here, hold on to this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Here, let me just uh, <laughs> there. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Start praising, <laughs> praise the gods. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna run. I'm so hot. <laughs> So Wait, what happened to Goron? That's so <laughs> hot! <laughs> Wait, where's Goron? Uh, I'm you got in. I'm on your I back! Thought, for some reason I thought I was dying of hypothermia. <laughs> I just can't fucking see exactly what happened. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wait a minute, he's resisting the cold. <laughs> oh, I thought you were telling me. I was. Tyler was definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys get back to the camp. Um, Muriel is now gone. Um... The wargs like invite you in and rush you in. <clears throat> um, nighttime is setting. Um, they go ahead and Genrock is quickly, young one, quickly to to the chains. Oh, <laughs> that's the whole party. <laughs> <laughs> um, you run over <laughs> and everybody moves. <laughs> you you chain yourself to, or they help you chain you to the wall. Um, he goes, what, what beast did you bring? I brought a bear, uh, I guess it's a snow bear. <laughs> owl bear. Owl, owl bear. It, was, it wasn't an owl bear. Oh, it wasn't? No. Uh, I think it was just a regular bear, I'm pretty it sure. A... Not even an owl bear? It was a... Pol polar bear? A, po polar a, polar, a, pol a polar bear. It's a snow bear. A white bear? <laughs> Hey, that's racist. <laughs> oh, okay, a Caucasian bear. Caucasian. It, was a, it was a winter, winter bear, guys. Come on. Uh -oh. A winter oh. bear. I brought you. We a call them bear. Christmas bears around here. <laughs> uh, None of that woke mob BS. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. It sounded like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I've, yeah, I've heard it myself. Wolf den. Okay, okay. so. Um, he changed you up to the wall, and <clears throat> he hands you your potion um, and says, Drink. You have made the blood sacrifice, and you may perform oh. the ceremony of the Night Mother. The ritual is performed in a series of incantations. The, you are fed the blood of the animal that you have sacrificed, and 
this is seen as a rite of passage. So you killed a wild beast. <clears throat> now, he goes, it is not always successful. <clears throat> um, you have, there is a possibility that it does fail. Did you bring any more of its blood? I did, I brought two vials. Good. Um, if it does fail, you may lose some of your strength ability for a while. And you must wait to perform the ritual again. Um, you will also suffer some eternal damage. But it will fade over time. Now. <clears throat> what kind of eternal damage? It Forever. Is, it is a... Uh, side effect of not being able to complete the ritual in the, the eyes of the night's mother. It will okay. pass, I promise. But drink, drink. And he kind of like holds the vial up so you can finish drinking it. Um, no. <laughs> as you do, you uh, <laughs> you feel like your your skin and like everything start to like um, grow. Um, you feel a sharp burning sensation in your stomach. And then the pain hits. Um, I shriek. Yeah, you shriek. You you feel like your bones growing and snapping into place. Um, your face morphs into a muzzle. Um, the hair on your body grows everywhere. You feel your spine like uh, dislocating and relocating and snapping and uh, <clears throat> and you're just in tremendous pain until the transformation is complete. Um, Roll. <clears throat> this is the big. This is the big save. Roll a Constitution saving throw. Uh oh. Okay. Do you still have inspiration? I have a DM inspiration. <clears throat> um, says it. Because I had never used it for uh -huh. when you gave yeah, me the oh, no, Luan, yeah. what is your um? Is it a D six? Uh, it is. Yeah, D6. Uh, I'm going to bump it up to a D10 since it's inspiration from the DM. Um, you can use it if you want. So I just roll a D10? Yeah, roll a D10. I do want to, by the way. <laughs> No, oh, that's just great. <laughs> um, you feel like the blood seep in through your body. Um, you <clears throat> you feel something wrong. Um, oh, you feel course. your strength wither. Um, you also take three damage from burning sensation in your gut. <clears throat> um, you start to transform back into a human. And you hear Grimrock, like, sigh and shake his head. And he goes, there's nothing that you could have done, young one. It is just not your time. We must wait at least four hours before we can do the ritual again. Well, I guess good thing I got two vials of blood. Yeah. Wait, we can do it again tonight, though? We just have to... In four hours. Skip in four yeah. hours? Okay. Yep. So... Where's uh, the wait option, like in Skyrim? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you want to play board games or something? <laughs> it, it, is <laughs> night, it is nighttime. It's like jumping. Uh, um, you... Um, I'm shrieking, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, you're <laughs> shrieking. I'm in pain. Um, it is nighttime, so everyone else can rest up. Um, Natalia, you That's can have me. a... I'm going to put cotton in my no ears. Spells. <laughs> no spells. <laughs> no spells return to you. Um, you can do... I get a bonus? Because this is, uh, I mean, all this pain and suffering <laughs> and torture, <laughs> this is pretty good. You don't this have is to say good. we know. Yeah. We are, you know. <laughs> this is... Yeah, we, we can clearly see I'm having a great dog. time. We can clearly see the bonus you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's check it real quick. Let's check it real quick. Oh, Hold on. Not. Let's check it. How are we feeling? <clears throat> nice. <laughs> um, 
time passes. Everyone else gets a full night rest. Uh, Natalia, do you wish to return in four hours to try again? Yes. Okay. Oh, so do we all need to do a long rest? Yep. Hell so yeah. Funny. Hey, good shit, guys. We did it. I'm the only one who can't, though, right? Yes, correct. I do not get a restful sleep. I feel like shit, guys. <laughs> As you're talking, you just hear uh, snoring. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> um, Grimrock approaches you again. Um, he has the vial in his hand. <clears throat> um, he asks you, he's like, it may be more difficult, but we may be able to split the vial and do this two more times instead of one at the price of some difficulty. We what couldn't you hear you. Yeah, you broke up. What would that be? It just might be more difficult to succeed. But So... Can can we like we can help out with this right like Negative. can I but y'all are asleep I can't like cast a spell on her to help her through the pain nope oh. and y'all are also asleep here yeah, we doing oh, a long we... rest oh okay yeah it's just me and Gimrock <laughs> okay so I like that yeah. What, in the jetpack. <laughs> what is your choice? Do you wish to try again with the full vial or split it in case you fail again? I'm going to be ballsy. And I'm going to say, fuck it, actually, we'll just do half the vial. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, he hands you half the vial and he's like, please drink again. Um, as you do, you go through the same pain, the same ritual as before. <clears throat> I scream even louder this time because I'm still in pain from the previous ritual. All right. Um, go ahead and roll a constitution. Hold on, I have to say my prayers real quick. <laughs> So I could kind of hear going that to kill myself. on the uh, floor upstairs. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. Our neighbors are going to ask what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Still, she can't I'm roll for shit. <laughs> um, let's see. You take... <clears throat> you feel another burning sensation in your stomach. You also take six damage. And now you must wait... What time was it? eight o'clock? So we started at eight. We had to wait what four hours? Yeah, yeah. So it's twelve. So another four a.m. Like four a.m. Six. You have to wait six hours now. Um, <laughs> you can have one more. Technically, chance. this ritual could kill me. Correct. You have one more chance. Uh, sunrise is at seven. It is now six. All right, fuck it. Let's just do it and hope for the fucking best. <laughs> All right, uh, everyone wakes up for this, uh, this attempt. Um, Can anybody give me inspiration or no? That's helping me out. That is helping you out. You had DM inspiration okay. and that was it. Fuck, okay. <laughs> All right. So I guess I'm just going to go in. All right, guys. Cost Wish me luck in real life. Saving throw. <laughs> All right. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> Getting worse. Goodbye, oh my god. She's, you, are you just gonna die? What's happening here? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm about to die, literally. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. I'm gonna die. It's fine. Bye, guys. It was nice knowing you. <clears throat> As you feel the pain enter your stomach you feel your eyes begin to shut I'm dead you fall unconscious to the floor okay 
Grimrock steps back and says, um, you may help your friend now, if all possible. Um, how exactly right, are gonna, we going to I'm going to rush up immediately and uh, cast Spare the Dying. Okay. Which makes her become stable. So I know that she won't pass into the next life. Yes, she is stable. She just has still zero hit points. And with the long rest, we also heal up full, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. You can click the long rest on D&D Beyond. It'll just do everything for you. Oh, okay. I don't know how we're, you know, eight months in. I just did that. <laughs> do, does anyone have any healing potions? This man I got mean, a I long guess... rest. And he's, he's, uh, Natalia does. Bearing but... on his healing. Yeah. Natalia does. I think. I don't have any. No, she used them. Oh, that's right. Um, I don't I don't cast I, I... A level one cure wounds. All right. Oh, God. Wow. Sorry. She <laughs> heals for five. Um, You feel the life come cool. back into you. Can I heal her a little bit more? <laughs> yeah. Start coughing. I cough up a little bit of blood. There you go. There you go. 22. Thank you, guys. Whew. <clears throat> the first time I've died. Dead. All because I had to become... Uh, I, 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 okay. I uh, tap her on the shoulder and I say, hey... That's the first time you've died so far. <laughs> True. Is it, possible, is it possible to go back to the beast I killed and get more blood, or no? I had to kill a whole new beast. Um, you might be able to make it back there if you can find it. If nothing else is eating it. Fuck. I'm going to have to die all over again. And I don't have any healing stuff. And... Um, no but... spells. And can we, we, we can't, like you said, we can't buff her up before she fights or anything. Like you can buff no, her up no. before the fight. You just can't help her during. That's if she has to fight her. again. I think. I so think I thought Devin... like with, with the beast and everything that I killed, didn't I get like a, wasn't it like, more, how does it give me more success? Like, you know what I mean? It lowers the, uh, the difficulty of the ritual. Oh, okay. With how um, with how bricked up all that torture got me throughout the night, am I able to give inspiration to Natalia when she fights the next beast? Uh, you can give yourself inspiration, just not her. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, I got inspiration. Thanks. That's sick. <laughs> Damn it, I tried. <laughs> um, you I don't know can... why it showed the same thing on there. It's a different thing now. Sorry. You can go back to um, the beast. Um, go ahead and roll a... Let's do a do a nature check to see if you can make it back before something eats it. Thirteen. All right, you make it back, oh. and nothing is eating it. I fill both of my vials up again. All right. For two full vials. Two four vials. Um, you make it back to camp. Um. Grimrock kind of looks at you and he's like, You must wait till nighttime before we can perform the ritual again. Can I take a nap or something? Like a short rest? <laughs> um, you can take a short rest, but <laughs> um, you don't get any spells back. And let's see, you took how much damage? Five. Six and three, which is eleven, fourteen. Correct. Six and three. Yeah. Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen. So that was necrotic damage that cannot be healed through. <clears throat> you must have a long rest to heal that. So none of my healing helped her? No, it did. It did, because uh, Lewin's only brought it up so far. 
Uh, also, if hey, you do... Said... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, you said short rest wouldn't help that. No, a short rest will not help that. It needs to be a long rest. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me double check. So there isn't any other, like, HP to heal? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, so She's the 14 cool. necrotic damage, if she has 32 to start out with, she only has 18 that can even be healed. Healed, yes. Necrotic. So, no, yeah. so like, yeah. all the excess that the 22 did is not going to be healed past that 18, right? Correct. Right. Damn, I wish I'd known that to begin with. I wouldn't have done it at level 3. <laughs> Next time, I'll check. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Anyway. It's the thought that counts. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um. So, do y'all want to travel? Wait. What do you guys want to do? We're we going with. I think I should wait. Oh. Well, I, guess I don't think really I good. should go anywhere, but you guys can go without me, because I need to keep my health as best as I can. For the ritual. What do y'all feel like doing? I mean, I don't know how much we can do. Honestly, we yeah. might be able to go around and like track down Emil, but. Other than that, like we don't want to go back to the cave with them, and we kind of have to wait for Natalia. So it's like I don't really know what we can. And do. there's no point in traveling all the way back down the mountain when you just have to come right back up anyway. Yeah, I'm done. Wait. Yeah. All right. Same. Uh, I guess. Uh, can we can we like talk to people in the cave or like make some conversation or something? Is that lady still here? No, she left. Well, okay. I'm napping, so. She left. Um, we did also kill like half the people. So <laughs> true. So maybe we shouldn't talk to him. Um, about the only person you can talk to is maybe uh, Grimrock. Maybe some. Uh, history. Oh, so Grimrock, I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Do you know the scent of Emil? Like, would you be able to recognize it? <sighs> Is a very strong scent. I, unfortunately, I'm not the hunter that I used to be. I'm, I'm sorry. I cannot help you in this. Mm. What if Grimrock. I enhance your ability? <laughs> because I, yeah. I do not, do not know if I will be any help to you. Oh, okay. Grimrock, do you have any problems with uh, eagles? Eagles, no. Yeah, like eagles that like. Just, just beat you up real bad. I, I do not know. There is no. a, there is a beast. Um, Eagles maybe from a town or like a city named Philadelphia <laughs> that are like <laughs> beating you up real bad. You know. Because I do not recall Philadelphia. Okay, just just checking. He goes, but. There is a beast, a flying beast, in Skalinski Pask. Oh. I do not know. Tell me more, please. If I'm pronouncing this correctly. Selinka Pass, I believe, is what the humans call it. <clears throat> there is a beast that roams the bridge, supposedly. I do not know if myth or legend. The giant bird who protects the bridge or hunts it. That is mostly all I know of the myth. Mm. Sounds like somebody should write that down. <laughs> I do. Yes. Yeah, you said Salinka Pass, huh? Yes, Salinka Pass. Since you might not know how to pronounce it, I'm sure you know how to uh, spell it, though. Yes, the T is silent. Salinka and the T is silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got it. Okay. So it has a flying enemy that we need to talk to? I believe they call it the rock. The animal's oh, called the rock? Yes. Like, to, oh, sorry. I wonder what it's cooking. Exactly, it can smell real good. 
Okay. And, and is um, you just telling us this? Like, you, do you need us to? You want us to go check it out for you, or you just you know oh, happen no, to it's mention just it? The Philadelphia. Oh yeah. It reminded mm-hmm. me of the the Great Bird, the myth of legend. Have we been? Uh, how, how far away is Salinka Pass from where we are right now? Just out of curiosity. Salinka Pass is farther. If we if we pulled the if we showed you this map, could you point to it on this map that we have here? And show well, us this exactly un, where it this may unmarked be. map, yeah, it'd be really nice if you could Possibly. if you could point yes. to the unmarked map. Um, it's not loading for me, so I'm gonna go back to the work cave. Um, he goes. We are high in the mountains in the north. Directly south is a mountain region that leads. <clears throat> to the Amber uh-huh. Temple. There is a bridge. <clears throat> okay. There is a bridge that crosses into the mountain range. That is where the beast may live if the legends are true. Hypothetically. You're Hypothetically. Saying. Okay. okay. All right. That's good to know. nice if somebody else were looking at this map with me right now it would also be nice if the map had any uh markers on it uh if only someone was pinging it constantly uh mine's not loading because i can't oh now it loaded um so i see uh we are here i guess zoom out oh wait is is, is, the uh Grimrock just like slamming his finger right here. <laughs> That's south as shit. Okay. All right. Hmm. Is that a castle? Oh, never mind. We'll figure it out when we get there. That's a bridge. What next to it? It's got a tower. Is that a windmill? You sound like e- uh, Egret from Game of Thrones. This is the castle. It's just the castle. No, it's just a, it's just a tower, eager it. <laughs> you foolish wildling. <laughs> you have no idea what would uh, troubles will befall you. That was that was a lot more south than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, me too. He said uh, mountain range, and I was like, oh, okay, the mountain range. And he was like to the south. I was like, wait, does he mean this mountain range? <laughs> and then I saw I saw his cursor. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Or anything else you wish to ask before the ritual begins? Um, do you know anything about this this uh, sword? Sword. Um, sword. Uh, it's also supposed to be somewhere in the mountains. I've, I've heard a sword in the mountains. Um. I do not. Call any sword. No, okay. Maybe I'm just wishful thinking. Worth the shot, worth the shot. I think it's like a marker on the old map, and I just like <laughs> fixated on it a long time ago. <laughs> it's probably done, probably not anything. Actually, I think the old map had like a different mountain range. It was like further. It was a little different. Yeah, like the bottom mountain range went further uh, west or east. Um, uh, I don't think you'll have the book that like explains one of the clues. I think it deleted when we had. There is no. Out. There is a sword. I know there is a sword. There is now a I remember. Sword, yes. Yeah, yeah. But okay, is, but it's um, not an ounce, probably. Okay. There's a a uh, location y'all kind of figured out, but I need to reinstall the. Book. Yeah. Uh, but there was a. I think it was the red gem. We where was that? We got the location of that, didn't we? Um, Guys, uh, let me check my notes because I'm pretty sure I have something about it. Way, way in the back, I believe. Um, Madam Ava gave y'all a hint of where it was at. The red gem. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, let's control F. Red gem. We need Uh, to. We need to consecrate it with the druid true lane. Have that written down. Oh yeah, yeah. Didn't he tell us too? So this mine says Snow Tower. Lost. It's the Wizard Tower. Uh, the Red Gym is in the Wizard Tower. That's like way up north. 
Oh. Oh, way up north. Okay. Yeah. It it's, it, well, actually, it's sorry. It's it's time. west. It's northwest from where we are right now. Well, hold on. Let me get back to the map. It was back like we went. We skipped past it at some point heading this way. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I see it. It's it's got a map marker. Yeah. The notes that I have is the red gem. I just have powerful next to it. Uh, the master of stars seek the limb tower for the location of the red gem. Oh, and that this was information we got back, like yeah, from yeah, Adam Ava, like, like way back in the day. This fucking control left thing in uh, one drive. Gets the every iteration of R E D next to each other. Nope. I just want to make sure we I don't have any other notes that might be useful. <clears throat> okay, no, that's it. Is there any other questions you wish to ask before we perform this ritual? The taming. You guys got anything? So. Nope, if I can't help her with any kind of enhancements, I can't do anything. Praise the Lord. Um, I am going to send you something real quick, Ross. Okay. All right, mate. <clears throat> so everyone's starting, ready to start the ritual? I'm super yes. ready. Um, I'm going to send you this to Murphy real quick and then he will give me a response so they're getting ready for the ritual let um, me see Grimrock come up to you with the two mm -hmm. potions um, he asks if you wish to split them again um, I'm just going to use a full one full one okay so you have two vials um, he hands you the full one um, you begin to drink. Um, you begin to drink. You feel your body begin to transform again. Go ahead and roll your constitution saving throw. Hey! Oh! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Ooh, I graduated! I graduated. <laughs> oh, you, you hear like uh, a Luan use persistitation and like some fireworks go off. It's like, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you feel the full effects this time. You don't feel a sickening come over you as before. You feel um, as this last transformation becomes over you. Um, the last two times you were blinded by rage and fury and like all you saw was red. Um, this time, all you see is red, and then you, you begin to overcome it. <clears throat> you begin to see your party um, appear, and you don't see them as enemies. You see them as your friends. You see Grimrock. You can smell him. You can see him. You can feel how old he is. You can um, <clears throat> see the age. Um, you can also see the, the warg blood flowing through his veins as you look down at your hands you realize that they're not hands any longer you have uh claws <clears throat> um as you go to scratch your arm you can feel the toughness of your skin through your fur um and go ahead and just just describe uh what kind of like fur you have and kind of what you look like so i have very light gray eyes that reflect the moon 
and my fur is such a dark blue, but it almost looks black, but in the moonlight it has kind of a purple hue to it. Cool. All right. What's this texture like? <laughs> yeah. Very, very soft <laughs> and silky. I do a lot of good hygiene. Uh, that is this, that of the carrot. softest cashmere. What does it smell yes. like? You, you it see smells it. fruity. <laughs> you see Sazed oh, uh, start to pull out his knives as he's like going to skin her. <laughs> <laughs> we need money. <laughs> Um, you, you see the chains, you see yourself chained up and you kind of look up and you can actually talk now. And, uh, you say to Grimrock, what do you say? Why am I still chained up? <laughs> he goes, ah, the trend, the taming was complete. Welcome, young one. And, uh, you see him take off the chains and step back as you're, you're free and you have full control over your powers now. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to step toward Grimrock, Gimrock mm -hmm. and say, thank you, my friend. Thank um, you so much for your help. You grasp uh, paws on each other's forearms as, uh, as you would, as the, the warg helped the werewolf as the old ways would. And I shed a tear. <laughs> <laughs> and I cry. Um, it is nighttime, so you have completed the ritual. You started at eight when sunset was, um, you may rest for the first time in a while. Wow. How does it feel? It's going to feel so good. <laughs> yeah. I feel so much like shit. I felt like shit for days. All right. Um, everyone else can take their long rest as well. You can all heal up what you were missing. I need to get my spells back. Yep. Everyone gets their spell slots back. Full health. Oh my god! What is this? You guys have spells. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. <clears throat> I am going to. Um, update Natalia's oh, D and D, and give me my spellbook, please. Yes. <laughs> For sure, won't forget about that one again. Yes. Definitely not. I'm gonna literally keep bothering you about it. <laughs> I mean, you've said it every single yeah, time. I know, like the past four times since he wiped his computer. You've said it every time. Because <laughs> I want that spellbook. Okay. I see the. I gotta it. reinstall. All it. Oh, he's making excuses. Watch it out. was like it started with the A. I didn't know how to pronounce it. To be real with you. All right, I remember where to get it. I remember because that uh, the dark elf gave it to you. Yes. Yes. So I got to reinstall. Was that I missing calendar. any other item? I think it was no, just no, I don't that. think so. No, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. When do I get honest. my uh, when do I get my amulet stuff back so I can actually use my little amulet that I got forever ago? What was that? Uh, the one that lets me use oh, one use a, cleric, a spell? cleric spell. You just mm -hmm. got. You got to remember that one. Nah. Yeah, I also <laughs> had a book that lets me like insta kill somebody. Yeah. But, like, when do I get my Billfire spell book back, please? <laughs> um. Customize resistances. You're resistant to bludgeoning. And resistant to slashing and piercing. Where was it resistant to cold? Uh, let me check. It doesn't say, but it would make sense. So I'm going to give you resistant to cold. No, yeah, I mean, you know, all hairy and stuff. Yeah. And then, yep, 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 yep. So, um, when you spoke, um, 
when you spoke, I believe only Sazed, no, sorry, Aluan and Grimrock understood. Oh. Oh, yeah, so it's kind of like a, not like a howl, but like a, <clears throat> I guess like a roar kind of type thing. I need to is it, is it close to orc? I was going to say, so we talking like <laughs> Elvish, Giant, Orc, anything yeah, like that, yeah. maybe? I couldn't understand yeah, that. I can speak Orc. I literally typed in can werewolves, and the first thing that comes up is eat chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very it's a pressing issue, not. really. Of course I can't eat chocolate. That's silly. Everyone knows that. Um... Da -da -da -da. Uh, Wait, so who who talked and who can who could only hear it? Uh only you and Grimrock, but I'm gonna make sure. Uh, okay. Players who are like can't retain the statistics otherwise. Da, 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 da. Ah, but characters in animal form cannot speak. So, yes, if you are in werewolf form, um only say Eluan and other beast can understand you. Uh, okay. So she still has her full facilities there, right? So yes. like hand signals and stuff like that. Like yes. if she gave like a thumbs up or yep. like a throat cutting. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say hello to her and be like, oh, woo, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You see Grimrock kind of like look over and he's like, "You speak wolf." <laughs> oh, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Uh, he's like this whole time I did not Girl. know Girl. Ooh. <laughs> rough rough uh, he's like I had no idea yeah it's uh, I'm not I'm not I don't like to brag but <laughs> I just like to show yeah. off you know <laughs> yeah there you go see there you go I don't like to talk about it I like to be about it real <laughs> some real shit yeah all right. Yes, sir. Well, I'll be the interpreter then, I guess, when uh, whenever she needs to hulk out in her wolf form. <laughs> wolf out. Yeah. What's the plan? Well, so is it uh, it's morning now or is it nighttime? Um, it's yeah, it's, nighttime? it's morning because everyone, everyone got their long rest. Oh, uh, gotcha. Her nap. We're f yeah, we're freshly, we're all freshly healed. We're, we're ready to go. We don't have... This werewolf uh, thing, Natalia, yeah, now we can just sleep hanging over her head anymore. We're we're good to go for the first time. We're in a long just time. do with that uh, that simple task of finding the missing, uh, you know, the missing guy. That we have no idea where he is. Well, I mean, technically, we don't even have to do that, right? <laughs> Who's that? The mayor? Is that what we're, like, we're already here? We could just go back uh, to the town. <laughs> could could do that. Yeah. Or um, I mean, well, I, I, don't we need to kill the wolf clan? Uh, well, I think we um, one should. thing that one thing that was mentioned at the very beginning of this was that uh, if we make friends along the way, we have people to help us fight Strahd at the end. Uh, yeah. And it sounds like there's the potential right now, if we solve this issue at the Wolf Camp of getting Emil back as the leader, that we potentially have two more groups that might be. We have the werewolves and the wargs who might help True. us. True. Yeah. Which you know, let's do that. Also, didn't wasn't there a random old guy in a hut? That we should have talked to beforehand too. Maybe that is Emil, the old guy in Remember? a hut. Yeah, the, that was it. Was way back when we were in town. Um, uh, what's the two sisters were like? Yeah, you need to go talk to this guy who lives up there, who's like a lone werewolf in a hut on the mountain. And then we went up there, and then we chose the wrong path, and ended uh -oh. up running into like the werewolves fighting the wargs instead of running into that guy. Oh, we can. So maybe we should like look around for him and see if he has any answers or if he possibly is. I mean, I don't know if he'd be a meal or not, but he might know a little bit more than. Um, Cause I if we just go straight back to yeah. the werewolves without what's his name's head, Gimrock's head, like, are they gonna let us in? Are we gonna have to fight them? Well, that was um, our plan. If we go back to the camp, was to try and uh, fake it till we make it that we just annihilated his corpse so much that nothing could be brought back. That's true, but it's also been what two two days now, mm -hmm. two full days. Yeah, uh, well, maybe yeah, even the three. Idea. Going back and talking to cabin dude. To the cabin. I'm down. We have to find it. I don't know where it was. Or... Hey, hey, Mr. Gimrock, do you know anything about a lone um, 
a hunter or old werewolf that lives on this mountain by himself? Um, kind of like you see him like tilt his head back and he's he's thinking. Um, as he's looking in his memories. Mm-hmm. And he's viewing what he believes. Yes, I believe you are talking about Skinness, correct? Yes, that was actually his name. Yes, he is an old man who lives up in the mountains just before you be come to the werewolf den. Okay. And do, we... do you know anything about him? Hmm. He kind of looks, right. he looks at you and he looks like down and he goes, you've told me about Emil. That is his father. Oh. Hmm. Well, maybe he, well, would he be able to help us? Let me tell you, what were you saying? I was just going to ask Gamrock if there was anything that we had with um, Emil's scent that I could use to try to sniff him out. Um, he looks and he goes, the only way you would be able to get Emil's scent is from either the werewolves or maybe his father. So we oh. should definitely go to his father. Because yes. we're not going back to the werewolves. They're going to know that I did the ritual. I'm down. Let's make moves. Uh, Natalia, would you like to lead the way with your nose? <laughs> Can she understand uh, us if we talk to her? Uh, Yes. Yeah, I'll give her that. No, no, true. I'm, I'm also so really daytime now, so I'm a human yeah. again. Uh, well, that makes anymore. things easier. Um, um you can only transform once per day also. Mm -hmm. And that's like I can only do it all oh, can I do it? You can do it anytime. During the daylight? Yep. Oh, okay. You have full control now. Okay. Well, cool. It's like a rage almost, but you can only do it once. Yes. Yep. Okay. okay. And you can you can stay in it indefinitely if you wish. Oh, okay. Well, all right. We'll be on our way then. Uh, wait, really quickly. Do you know what direction the cabin might be in? It is down the mountain. I do not know its exact whereabouts, but it is. It is down, okay. down the mountain before the werewolf did. Well, thank you so much for all your help again. Yes, please help us find Emil and return to us, and we will deal with the werewolves together. That sounds good. We'll, we'll be on our way to find Emil. Right. I'm going to use my new newfound controlled senses. We'll find him easy peasy. All right, guys, let's go. Is it Cave so, right here? Yep. Yeah. Um, as you're leaving. As you guys are leaving, <clears throat> I'll wait for you to exit the cave. Um, you have to step over the bones of all the uh, wargs that you killed. And I'm going to say sorry. 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 <laughs> oops. Oops. Excuse me. It was just an oopsie. They don't have any special powers, do they? No. It is one of them stab us in the foot. Why are they transparent? Why do I'm I look like to... that? Uh, I don't it's know. Probably because uh, someone skinned their flesh off. No, he's talking about her own icon. It's a little transparent. <laughs> um, I'm going to lighting. I'm going to kneel down and say a quick prayer to the war gods over the bones of the fallen. Uh oh. And then I'm going to let Natalia sh lead me. I've sh I've shoved Devin somewhere. I don't know where he's going. There he is. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. I was, I was trying to carry him and uh, 
Hey, carry me too. I put him in the rocks. <laughs> Guys. Oh All right. Wait, I think it's a, is that a cliff? No, it's not. Doesn't matter. I could jump off cliffs. Well, we'd be jumping up one right there, right? Doesn't matter. I can jump gonna, up cliffs. I'm going <laughs> to sniff around real quick right here and see if I uh, smell anything strong. So I guess that'd be perception. Yeah. Oop, that's pretty loud, isn't it? No, it's just not too That's a terrible. 14. Uh, 15. So you, uh, you get a scent of a human in the vicinity where no human should be. Can I can I tell what direction? Uh, you know it's down the mountain. Okay. All right. What do you uh, smell man flesh. <laughs> you guys come down the mountain, and as before, you come out into the two-way split. Um, the first time you took the left path towards, uh, it led you toward the war battle with Alars. Um, this time you see the uh, the smaller of the paths that enter a clearing from the woods to the right. We're going to take that one. All right. I don't know why we chose that other path the first time. Uh, Natalia found Wolfer in the snow. Oh. Cool. Um, I'm going to walk up and uh, approach this man and say hello. <clears throat> looks like a fucking badass. <laughs> you see an old man um, <clears throat> with uh, a cabin on stilts at the edge of the woods. Um, it's built this way most likely to avoid the heavy snow drifts in the spring thaw when the area turns into a marsh. Um, you see some smoke billowing out the chimney and you see an old man with a, a old grizzled face, long white hair, and a, a bearded uh, mustache with a, a thick, thick white beard. He's getting um, some logs for his fireplace, and he turns and looks at you. Who, who goes there? Hello, my name's Natalia. These are my friends. Um, Natalia, you instantly see the lycanthropy in his veins. And he sees it in you as well. He goes, Ah, oh, what curse are you afflicted with? Well, unfortunately, it's no longer a curse. Ah, oh, but this is always a curse, young one. It will be with you forever. What well, beast are you? I'm just a werewolf. Ah, as am I, as am I. He goes, Are you from the clan no i'm actually not from any clan i'm me and my friends are independent travelers i see i see my name is skinness um, great to meet you skinness ah yes what brings you out into this lone mountain we were actually coming out here because we were um, looking for your son, Emil. Emil. Uh, Do you know where he might be? I believe uh, he looks kind of like mortified. Um. He goes, I'm assuming Carl is in power, yes? Yes, Carl is in power. Unfortunately so. Yeah. Things I... are not going so good in the Wolf Clan. We've been over there. I see. He's disgraced the Ninth Mother. Uh, may I ask how, if you were not part of the clan, how you became to tame your powers? Well, we actually, uh, we met a really nice war leader. His name's Gimrock, and he helped ah. me do the ritual. You see him, he nods his head, and he goes, Ah, live and let live, I see. The war code. He goes, I, I attempted to reach out to the wargs before. 
once allies of the werewolves, but the wolves now fear the werewolves are in league with Strahd, and I believe they are correct. They are. The The wolves are inflicted with a lot of hate. Hmm. I see. Do you know where my son might be? Well, we were hoping you would. I'm afraid I may not be able to help you with that. The only person, well, who, the only person who might know is his mate. Yeah, we spoke with her, and she also is looking for him. What I was hoping is maybe that you had something of a meals that I could use to to learn his scent. Hmm. To let me, uh, let me go in the house and see if I have any of his baby clothes that you may use. Um, he goes inside and comes back out with like a, a ragged blanket. And he goes, you may use this if you wish. He goes, I don't know how helpful it would be. I haven't smelled him in quite some time. Well, thank you. Such a weird sentence. <laughs> I haven't smelled him. In... <laughs> it's a wolf thing. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, you won't Bro. get it. <laughs> My bad, my bad. No, I'm not, no, no king shame here. Uh, he goes, please find my son and remove Carl from power and put an end to these dark ways. And you shall have my allegiance of the clan. Thank you. Uh, we will definitely try our best. If you cannot find him, I understand. If you cannot find my son, please depose Carl of power and put whoever you wish in charge. But the clan must not be led astray down the path of evil. And I will come and assist once Carl is removed as best I can. Thank you. I'll go on your way, young one. Okay. Live and let live. I just, like, basically bow my head and, and uh... In a respectful way, and walk off. Walk off. All right. All right. So now we kind of turn back around on the trail that we were on, and I uh, want to. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to load that one. That's I okay. Load this one. I want to. Um, uh, the, this is just like a gray screen. Is this supposed to be like that? Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, okay. Right, because the um, snow, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I snip Emil's blanket to kind of get his scent. And I can smell it because my senses are so strong, but it's very, very faint. Yes, you smell it and it leads back towards the werewolf cave. Oh. Hmm, I don't know if I like where this is going. All right, it leads back there. Okay, so fuck. Okay, I guess we're going back to the werewolf cave. Hmm. Guys, that's where I'm smelling it. It was an inside job. <laughs> yeah, over under on he's chained up somewhere in the camp. Hundred <laughs> percent. I would say over ninety five. Hmm. Okay. Let's first look in Coral's chambers. I'm just gonna walk into the camp, walk through the front door, go up to his chambers. Watch me. <laughs> uh, not the war. Not the, I got my spells back here. Yeah, I'm about to missy step all the way in there. <laughs> yeah. About to fucking turn into a ghost and glide through. Yeah. They can't stop me. I'm, sne I'm slippery. <laughs> Doesn't Hannah have a spell that turns her invisible as well? She or somebody does. else? I yeah, if I had my out. spell book back. <laughs> Wait, it's not have you still haven't book. put it in there yet? That's awkward. Well, so... Uh, you've got actually, it. You've got it. Actually, okay, yeah, I did switch it out. Ooh, um, it looks like a fool now. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, I have a limit. I have to, like, basically, un not unlearn them, but, like, unprepare them. Yeah. Mm. And oh, so it's like out. spellbook swapping? Yeah, you yeah can only, but I can only, only do, do it during a long rest. rest. Yeah. 
Jinx. Jinx, you owe me a soda, bitch. <laughs> He's got fucking got. Get got. Get got. By the way, the Cowboys fucking suck. Oh, you just now learned that? Yeah. I have to agree. <laughs> no, I've known it <laughs> all the time, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I've actually just turned on the stream and in the fucking comments, somebody's like, cowgirls, cowgirls. Cowgirls. <laughs> oh, wow, classic, so dude. original. <laughs> I, I thought it was insult. funny timing because it was like the, the next thing that was typed in there after you guys said they suck. They're not the, hey, I mean, they're not the cow men. <laughs> they're true. They're the cowboys. True. true. Dumb little They're boys. playing like it. We got them. Somebody streaming it live on TikTok. That's actually smart. <laughs> That's smart. Uh, is it loaded? Oh, it's not. Until so the NFL goes. comes and goes, gotcha. Are we going to the Wolf Den Straight interior or are we in the snow forest? Uh, Wolf Den interior. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Well, sure. We um are are me and Goron just kind of hanging back and letting our stealth experts do their thing, or what's yeah, the game plan here? Probably because um, I am not tanks. stealthy at all. All the tanks Actually, I am pretty. I'm not gonna lie. Dogs. I do have a. I have a pretty good stealth rating, for a big boy. I'll keep watch yeah, outside and give you guys a prayer. Oh, there, you, you are you guys just shooting. gonna go invisible and walk in? No, I feel like they would be able to smell me because I'm a wolf. Yeah, they can no. smell. Oh, true. 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 Good call. We're about to just you didn't think of that. You just gave him the idea. Bust some heads. <laughs> also, stealthing is not considered a saving throw, right? Um, so, check. like, how, like, how did you get spot? Spot so is the spot. enemy's perception. You have to roll a stealth check against their perception check, I'm guessing? Correct. And I will say they are well rare wolves with heightened senses. Hmm. If only we knew what that meant. Mm. Is there so extra like, what, perceptive? What that could mean anything? We don't know that. No. Uh, what he's saying, I feel like, is that we need to Leroy Jenkins this motherfucker. <laughs> so that's how you're feeling. That's what it sounded like. Sounded like we're not going to be able to just we're not going to be able to sneak in and sneak around. Hey, and, I mean, fuck it. Well, wait, hold on. Let's let's slow down. Um, <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I feel like with the scent thing, we're not really going to be able to sneak in there much. And plus, it makes us look more guilty if we just sneak in there. Okay, I'm done for whatever. I'm done to rock and roll. What if... Because uh, we've, we've killed so many people. We don't need to kill any any other more unnecessary people. I wouldn't say we've killed them. I'd say we've dispatched of things that needed dispatching. You, know? you would say that, but that's <laughs> what you would say. Blood this for the blood a, god. A touchy subject. Oh, it's blood for the blood god. Oh, I can um, I can cast press a digitation to create an odor. Apparently. Oh, you can. An odd odor. So could I like oh. cast it on myself and like mask my odor? Um, you can mask your odor with a different odor. Yeah. Can so he, could I, could could he I, go could... stealth and make him smell like a werewolf? Or a or... heart. A fart. A fart. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you could, but they would smell that. It's just people farting around the camp. We could just, we could make someone invisible, and then I could make them smell like a fart, and then they could just walk around, and people would just be like, oh, fuck, someone farted around here. <laughs> no one's going to admit to it. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to, like, stick around and find out. They're just going to be like, oh, it's a fart, and they're going to walk away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck, I'll allow it. <laughs> it's a perfect a idea strategy. the more I think about it. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> I mean, who's going to admit they farted? <laughs> exactly. Like, did you fart? No, I didn't fart. Well, no. I didn't fart. Okay, well, I guess, oh, whatever. But they're going to smell there and be like, well, fuck, I'm not going to stick around here. Someone ripped ass. It smells like somebody died in their ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so, I, think, yeah. I, think, I think that's the plan, honestly. Okay. Guys, this is totally off topic, but I, this is kind of funny. I was at work, and there was a resident that came in to write me a check, and while he was writing a check, he, like, ripped the worst-smelling fart I've ever uh. smelled in my life. But, like, I didn't realize it right away, and he got up and handed the check to me, 
And uh, then I swear to God, it smelled like some like he was dead inside. <laughs> and it those. lingered for like three hours. And Asia was like, why does your office smell like a fart? And I was like, dude. I, I didn't do it. I swear. No. It's Yo, the but the funniest plan. thing about it was when he like gave me the check. He was he usually like sticks around and talks, but he was like, I got to go. Like he was super yeah, fast. And I was like, dude, he yeah, he farted. You got to call him out next time see him. Yeah, man, that <laughs> like, fart you dude. ripped, man, it lasted forever. Dude, it was disgusting. I'm pretty sure I came in the next day. It still smelled like it in there. I was like, oh, my God. Ugh. Anyways. Oh, man. What a what, uh, loading are y'all at? Uh, On the path. I'm at the it's... owlbear. Oh, shit. Okay. Right. It's not the well, owlbear. It's a winter oh, my bear. My was still winter road. Yeah, my, my yeah, oh, it was polar bear. bear. All right. Tell me when everyone's loaded in. I loaded into the winter road. Okay. All right. All right. Um, is that where we're supposed to be? No. Or the wolf den? Uh, wolf den is where we're supposed to be. Den. Okay. I'm in the wolf den. Now I'm in the wolf den and I can see. All right. Commence with the plan. So have oh, we, do we elect to get on the outside? <laughs> can she make more than one person invisible? I believe so. Wait. Really? Let me make sure it's not concentration. It is concentration. So only one person up to an hour. Okay. Same thing with me. Uh, so who's... Except, uh... I guess it's not concentration, but I can only do it for an hour. So maybe we should just mm. go in with the original plan of trying to convince him that we incinerated the guy. I kind of like that a little bit better than trying to like sneak in... Right. I don't know. I, I kind of like the invisible fart idea of myself. <laughs> just saying. All right. Well, go ahead and turn, I mean, turn him invisible, say, if everybody. If, yeah, say, if you want to go invisible, well, actually, somebody yeah, could somebody could at least like try to figure out where this dude is. Where he might be. Yeah. Rock, well, do you remember scissors. where we? Ex do you remember where we explored? Uh, when we were in there before. Let me. I know we explored everywhere. I, I mean, I walked around the whole cave. I didn't see anything. Mm, no, I see some. Yeah. No. Um. There no, we just went everywhere, but the but up here, yeah, wolf. and up here. Okay. Well. Yeah, I was gonna say there was some stuff we didn't explore. Y'all did go over here. Where? Because y'all drank. Went to the pool. Here. Right here. Yeah, we didn't uh, go up here. Go up. Yeah, y'all didn't go up there. Okay. I think we just stayed on the first floor for the most part. I'm gonna do a perception and see, like, if I can smell anything. Like, we're checking to see if you can. See if, if it this... smells fresh. See if it smells fresh. Yeah. If it's like some old ass smell, it'd be different. Well, wow. Uh, yeah, you okay, smell well... a bunch of werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I smell? <laughs> Uh, you smell you, like a fart. Yeah, you smell like a fart. You feel uh, Luan cast a fucking fart on you <laughs> oh, this whole Jesus time. Christ. Do I have to go in? Is this what we're doing? Sorry, just practice them. Oh, <laughs> I had to uh, do a bunch of little uh, farts to make sure it smelled okay. Did it work? <laughs> yeah. Are we, are we sending somebody in invis? Or are we I will volunteer to, do a, to be an invisible uh, fart. Can I do a medicine check to see why Sazed smells so bad? <laughs> I mean, if you take a look at the state of my body, I don't think it's terribly hard to figure it out. You just look at you look at Sazed. You, you look at Sazed and you look at the Luan, you see a Luan wink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no idea why it smells so bad. <laughs> All right, is there, is there a little one going in? Yeah, what's the plan? Volunteer. I volunteer as tribute. It's definitely not going to be me. I know that because I am probably the clunkiest and biggest and not light on my feet. <laughs> well, normally I'm the here. sneakiest, but I'm the smelliest. So other than... Well, he's going to make you smell like a fart. Yeah. Yeah. You can smell like a fart. Yeah. Yeah, but you're invisible, so... Yeah. So you can make I mean, somebody yeah. else invisible. Actually, um, being oh, invisible, maybe, being an invisible it. werewolf in a wolf den isn't like that's not going to be like. Can you differentiate between like the different wolves? I guess like, or is it just going to be like, oh, there's just a werewolf nearby. I just can't see them right now. They kind of thing. Different. Dif uh, yeah. Differentiate. Talia can smell the difference. Okay. 
Apparently not, though, but yes. So, so probably maybe we just let Jesus goes. go in. Uh, I don't know how we got like to that conclusion, we... but sure, I guess. Yeah. Like we had his own volunteer, but I've been voted in. So, hear me out, hear me out, right? So what we could do is we could just let Sazed just whip himself into a frenzy, get all hot and bloody, and then all they'll be able to smell is blood. And they'll just be like, smell oh, like food blood. and then go and then in. we'll just go to wherever they smell the blood. Ah, true. Find you, want me to, you want me to turn myself into a meal and then walk into a werewolf then? Yeah. <laughs> well, why are hey, you guys are deciding? I gotta go to the All right, Natalia, get ready to be a fart. <laughs> Did you guys hear me? No, no what did you say? I said, while you guys are deciding, I'll be right back. I gotta run to the restroom. Uh, okay. <laughs> she's got a fart. <laughs> well, while she's waiting. Yeah, I got a fart <laughs> on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, go yeah, ahead and I'm turn yourself lie, invisible. <laughs> She's My like, farts right, have smelled so bad tonight. I'm glad I'm downstairs. She's gonna come back and be like, "Yeah, all right, Goron's it, guys." And you see oh, Murphy's like, "I smell like shit." <laughs> sleep in the other room. How about you just go to the bathroom in the other room? No, I'm talking about your stinky farts. <laughs> uh, oh, called out. She didn't leave. Yeah, no. Wow, you're just pooping and talking to us? That's weird. No, I'm not pooping. I gotta go pee, but I'm just saying, if your farts stink, you're ah, sleeping you're in another bed. Yeah, go I'm poop. Sleeping. Go poop. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah, poop. Yeah. There you go. I'll send you a picture of it. It's fine. <laughs> Make sure you put it in Discord. <laughs> Share with the class. <laughs> yeah. Are you passing notes? Oh, what's the over under on this completely fucking everything up? I actually think it's pretty decent. I think the fart what? plan is pretty, pretty like, like foolproof. The... Yeah, dude, I feel like <laughs> I think it's a pretty great solid. plan. <laughs> I mean, like you said, like, who's gonna like be like, oh, I farted? I'm not gonna stick around. Yeah, I, oh, it's it. a stinky fart. Let me <laughs> investigate. No, you're gonna be like, Ew, let me get the hell away from this. It's this guy. I'm not gonna <laughs> smell his <laughs> farts. That's just natural. Like who? Like. You this is random, know. but it kind of, it's in a way, it kind of reminds me of it. It was this, like, video of this guy, and he was, like, in his car, so he's, like, filming himself, and he's, like, got the camera in his uh, passenger seat, and it, he's, like, approaching, like, a checkpoint, I guess, for, like, the border from, oh. like, Mexico or whatever, or some border, or whatever, and as he, as he drives up, he, like, rolls down the window, and the guy starts to talk to him, and the guy's, like, you know, I forgot what he asked, he's, like, you know, blah, 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 and the guy's, like, well, uh, yeah, but, and he grabs a Bible and he's like, can I talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? And the guy's just like, oh, okay, just, uh, just go on ahead. Just go on ahead. He's like, waves <laughs> through. <laughs> you know, the guy Honestly, through. that's a pretty good plan. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's, that's genius. Take the, uh, take the Mormon approach. <laughs> yeah. He was like, oh, okay, back, yeah, you're good, you're good. All right. That was a quick poop. Yeah, yeah. go check out the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Back just in time to become a stinky fart. Yep. Dude, okay, the cowboys better not fuck this up. The cowboys oh, what's the shirt? Fart. <gasps> yeah! Oh, uh, no, I think I'm delayed. Yeah, Hold on, don't, don't, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it for me. Wait, what? How much time is left in the game? 15 minutes. Okay, that's what I'm looking at. The, f the fourth quarter, you, like, just started. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 you guys are watching the... The so oh. behind, I'm watching somebody that's live streaming it on TikTok. Yeah, what what's what's like the time on the clock right now? It's on a replay, so I'll give it to you in just a second. Okay. I mean, I'm just wondering how far behind we are. Back. Okay, so I'm on 14:39. Oh, okay, yeah. so it's not that far. That. It's like private player too. So you were probably reacting to this next play. Sorry, guys, I forgot that you guys are watching it. I'm not even watching it. Didn't want to spoil, but I get excited about my boys. <laughs> you would like boys. About my gals. <laughs> I'm going to be mad. Oh, if, uh, he almost, oh, he did get it. Yeah, 17-20, baby. We're in a one-possession oh. game. Oh. All right, time to be a fart. All right, who's the fart? She is the fart. Stay I there. feel like that's the best move. I feel like you I should. I said be we the fart. roll for it. I said we roll for it. But no, like she wants can to do smell. It. All right, fine. I'll be the fart. Differentiate between werewolves. She's able to be like, oh, this. Oh, is Oh, that's the, true. She has to be the one because she's the only one who can track the guy. Yeah. She yeah. Is. So I'll go. So I'll go invisible Three and then smell like a fart. 
yeah. olfactor receptors in the nose. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, I will cast an invisibility spell on myself. And, um... Also, maybe we should, uh, the art my tour of their party members should maybe not stand in the front of the cave. Oh. <clears throat> just, just suggesting. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm casting invisibility on myself, and I cool. currently smell like a disgusting fart. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, razzle-dazzle. Okay, why uh, is it moving me? Because of Boron. Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, go to the other chat. Let's see what she can see. Wait. What's right. up? Go exploring. The worthy explorer. So they cannot smell me right now. They like, other than a stinky fart. Other than a stinky fart. Alright, I'm gonna do You're foolproof right now. Um, you get a That's whiff. Of, you get a whiff of him throughout like the entire cave. Damn. Okay, well, I'm gonna start. This is just up here. This is not anybody. All right. Um, you see uh, a storage area with like steps leading up to a storage area with crates all aligned the all up against the wall. Okay, these crates look a little suspicious. Can I do a perception on these? Uh, you can do an investigate. Oh, investigation. Yes. Um, you open one of the lids and it makes kind of a loud noise. Um, but you just see, like, food and stuff, like wine. Shoot, does anybody see me from that? Um, let me check. Uh, no. Cool, okay. Alright, now I'm gonna go this way. Because I didn't want to go through the water, because I feel like they would hear me. This is real. Okay. Do they start smelling the fart yet? Do I hear them say anything? <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, uh, did you fart? No, I didn't fart. No, sure you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I found his Carl's lava. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to go through here as well. Um, you come up to the top of the stairs and you see a smoldering fire sits within a ring of stone. It looks like an outpost, a vantage point. One can see far down the mountain into the valley of anyone who approaches. Um, this leads like outside the mountain to like a little um, kind of like a, a, a crow's nest almost that can like be you could see all the way down the mountain and whoever approaches like we all the way y'all came up to the mountain to the front of the cave. If someone was out there, they could see all the way down. And I can get back in if I go out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can load you out there if I want, but I can just tell you that nothing is out there other than like a, a, a little crow's nest on the mountain. Okay. I want to do like another sniffing to see if I can smell more specific scents. All right, go for perception. Damn, my rolls are ass tonight. They really are. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, you gotta whiff through them throughout the whole cave. Uh, there's like this... Why does this uh, look like it far. could be like a, a trap door? It's a blanket. Oh, okay. <laughs> they <laughs> smell the part. Dude, I don't fucking know. Um, you do smell the scent get stronger down here, but you smell it coming from this lady. 
That's his lover. That is his lover. Can I do it like an investigative or per perception check to see if there's like any like secret door in this room? Uh, do a investigate in this room. Dude. <laughs> Uh, you don't notice anything other than, like, the cages and the gold on the floor. Ugh. I feel like they're... I don't know, man. I don't know. A motherfucker. Hmm, let me think, think, think. Just don't know, man. Uh, maybe I'll do one more sniff test in here. All right. Bruh. Throughout the whole cave, you smell him. <sighs> man. I don't see anything. <clears throat> There's literally nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. You know what? I'm just going to go back to them. All right, we can go back to the other chat. Okay. Yeah. I I completely forgot. I completely forgot about that shit. You, I, I didn't. I didn't even read that. So I should have been doing plus two bonus for the. Oh my fucking god! I think it might do it automatically. Oh, I don't know if Bryce attuned oh. it to you or not. You gotta ask him and see what if he it? rolls to automatically have for it. For the blood spear, do I automatically get the plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this weapon? Because uh, he's the chosen one. Right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, um. Inventory. It is attuned to you, so yes, you do get it. Okay, so it automatically yeah. adds the bonus. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna end my invisibility spell. You back with us? Oh. Yep. What'd you find? Literally nothing. Nice. Do you hmm. smell him at all? I could, he was just, I could just smell him all throughout the cave. I couldn't pinpoint where the scent was coming from. Hmm. I didn't find any secret places or anything. Can you smell him at all out here? Like, anywhere around? I mean, I can try. My rolls haven't been shit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you, like, got so much. You've been smelling so much that, like, all your senses kind of become numb. Like, you've smelt, like, so many, like, candles that you can't differ dif differentiate between the two. Yeah, mm. yeah I don't Where know, else? guys. Were there a lot of werewolves walking around in there? Mm, not really. Normal amounts. Did you see Carl? No, actually. <sighs> Ooh, mm. now might be the time to go and talk and see if we can maybe bring <clears throat> some people on our side. Hmm. So you went, like, upstairs and everything around the there? Yeah. Everywhere. Mm. Well, I guess... Do we, I mean, do we go in? Wait, at least I don't think I saw Carl, but I also don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, that might be... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have a feeling that maybe trying to convince people to switch sides without having Emil is probably not the best idea. Someone's gonna rat on us. A meal, but like, I just don't know how to find him. I like, there's nothing secret in there. We gotta like. Uh, let's look through the uh, the old spells. So, Bryce, are we allowed to swap out spells too on long rest? Like, yes, me only on for cleric. Long rest, yeah, only on long rest. Okay.
Do y'all want to... Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, literally, we, the only th person that we can talk to is the... Uh, what's it, her name? The, um... What'd you call her? His mate. I guess, right? Or ask around other people in the cave? Uh -huh. or I don't know. Zulika? Uh... That's his mate's name. Yes. Zulika. Zulika! Uh, all we have is that he never came back from a trip, so maybe we get more details about the trip. Where they might have gone to. Yeah. I'm really lost at this point, honestly. What do you mean? I'm not gonna lie, I kind of am too, like on what to do. Yeah, we can't, like I mean, do we just walk in there? Like, how do, how do we get her out? Just wait till she comes out? She won't. I mean, either we, I guess, wander, we just abandon this all together, or we go in, I guess, and try and find her in there and ask her if she has any more details about the trip, I would guess, right? I mean, we could probably just talk to her, I guess. Dude, I say we just fucking balls to the wall, charge in there, and be like, you either fight for him or you fight for us and come find a meal, and then we just kill this man. <laughs> No. I'm serious, because like, <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, if it's just him, half of the werewolves that we talked to to begin with didn't even really seem like they wanted to bat Carl, right? So we can just come in, give them, be like, hey, we're gonna help you find a meal. We're gonna help you get some allies, so you don't have to, you know, torture innocent humans and get the humans up here to stab you. And let me just take care of Carl. No, right, I think that's okay. Okay, don't listen to one. <laughs> Last time, all right, it's two percent of it. <laughs> <laughs> the last times that you've told us to uh, just attack or do stuff, it's been bad. So, no. If anything, we should talk to Carl's mate because she's the strongest wolf in there and get her and, you know, whisper little, you know, ideas in her head and then get her to turn because she could get everybody else, I think. She seems to have a lot of power in there. Well, what if Carl's in there? It's a mm. secret of conversation. Well, I mean, either way, I guess it's a similar. It's it, this the same outcome that you're wanting. Murphy can come from that. Uh, yeah, same thing. I mean, okay, sure. Let's just walk in. Less abrasive. Well, no, I mean, I'm, what I'm. Yeah, okay. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. Go in and talk to her, and then if it goes south, and it basically ends up in the exact same situation that you're trying to create. Mm -hmm. But either way, at least we have a chance of not dying. <laughs> We also have a chance of walking in there and not being able to do anything because he's just going to fucking get upset with us because we don't have the head. See, that's, the, that's what I was going to say. Either way, though. If, it's if he's there this, and gets all, mad, we fighting. That's all I'm all saying. I'm swinging this morning star. the same place kind of thing. Yeah, what is it? All streams lead to the ocean? Uh, or something like it, that. Yeah. Except for the ones that lead to ponds. Well, <laughs> got him. Yeah, but got like, him. You know, Damn, then, then those ponds are also like mini oceans, so I'm kind of mm. still right, you know. Mm. <laughs> Aluin, any uh, any other counter ideas? Or what? Okay. <laughs> All right. Sounds like we're going in to try and talk to her. <laughs> Let's do it. He's still smelling his own fart. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He's yeah. best with figurines. Yeah. Well, lead the way. It should be uh, female to female, right? Female werewolf to... Do you want to transform to be in wolf form while you do this to make it even more convincing, or...? True. Oh, no, actually, maybe that'll raise more suspicion because you shouldn't be able to do oh, that. Oh, yeah, because strange werewolf just comes walking <laughs> in. Yeah, I guess. Well, no, they, they would know it was her, but they wouldn't know why she's able to control it. Oh, that's also true. But at that point, does it matter? I could also yeah. just tell them that I, uh, oh no, never mind. I just randomly, uh, remember that thing I came to you guys for help about and you sent me on a mission so that you'd help me? I just did it. <laughs> I just well, figured it out. I mean, I if, if she asked, you could just be like, yeah, we got help with the wargs. The wargs are actually good and you guys are evil. And then we attack them, like I said. <laughs> we attack. <laughs> well, we do have two minutes left in our session. I mean, I've I've given my idea. It sounds like we're gonna go in and talk to her, yeah. and then just see what happens from there. I'll follow you, Natalia. You're the werewolf expert. 
Oh, I love how you're just always volunteering me to walk in front of you. How about you go? Because you're volunteering people. I mean, if I'm going in there, I'm going to come in there with the morning star and I'm going to swing at Carl's head. So <laughs> it's up to you. Okay. It's up to you. I'll go. That's fine. I'm you literally going go in there. Like, we'll chain them up. It's so no, no, no. I'm literally going to take like a little like quilt thingy that I have in my backpack and like stuff it in Goron's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I'm going to grab your hand. No, I'm gonna like shove it real far down his throat. He's gonna like gulp, and then I'm gonna be like, "All right, thank God for the peace and quiet. Let's go, guys." All right, and we will end there for tonight. <sighs>